For a given polarizer, Malice's law relates the intensity of the emerging light to the intensity of the incoming light. And there are two situations that you need to know. First, let's take unpolarized light. And let's say that it propagates in the positive x direction. Let's say also that we have a polarizer P1, which is vertical, that will therefore eliminate all the horizontal components of the unpolarized light as it passes through. And as a result, you'll get polarized light in the vertical direction after P1. If the intensity of this unpolarized light is S0, and the intensity of the polarized light is S1, then we have S1 is equal to S0 over 2. And that seems to make sense. We got rid of half of the components. All the horizontal components of the unpolarized light got blocked by P1, and we only kept the vertical components. Therefore, the intensity is halved. So that's if you go from unpolarized to polarized. Now, you could go from polarized to polarized. Say you have P2, another polarizer, and you angle it at an angle alpha, or theta. Let's call it theta with respect to the direction of the incoming polarized light. Well, you know that P2 is going to rotate the incoming polarized light so that it exits with components only in the direction of P2. And therefore, there's going to be an angle theta here between the vertical and the direction of polarization after P2. Now, if this light has an intensity S2, then S2 is equal to S1 cosine squared of theta. Now, that technically is Malice's law. But since there are two situations, it's good to go over both. Either you have unpolarized light, and if you have polarized after the polarizer P1, then your intensity is halved. If you went from polarized to polarized with a rotation, then S2 is equal to S1 cosine squared of theta.